Hi all, my name's Ollie and I'm one of the project managers here at Premier Choice Internet. Today I'm going to be showing you the ins and outs of SharePoint and two of the methods which is one, accessing it via the Office 365 portal and using a scenario when you would use it and two, the OneDrive sync agent that runs on your machine and uses the main feature called Files on Demand. Firstly, let's start with the Office 365 portal method. To access the Office 365 portal, you are going to need two things. One, your Office 365 email address and password, and two, an internet connection. As you can see on my screen, I'm currently logged into my account. And on the left hand side, you can see all the available features such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, OneNote, and SharePoint. Anything underneath that, it all determines on the license you have under your account. But let's not worry about that right now. We're going to be concentrating on the ones that I've just mentioned. Please note, these are the online versions only. So what this means is the applications which are usually installed on your machine, for the Office applications, they will have features which are available which the online version doesn't. So please note when you're going to be using the portal, you're aware of this. Now we have that out of the way, let's move on to SharePoint. When you click on SharePoint, it takes you to a landing page. This will be the area where you'll see your company's team site. In this case, I'm going to be choosing PCI Demo. Once opened, you can see what our demo team site looks like. Very basic, right? Yours will most likely look like this. As you can see, you have a home page with a document libraries drop down list. Your server data will be organized into these document libraries. You can see in that list, you will be able to open any of these document libraries, even if you do or don't have access. The only difference is if you don't have access to, then to that document library, it will show up as empty. So if you require this, then you're going to need to request this to support. Now we have that out of the way, let's take you back to the demo team site. And as you can see, I'm currently in a document library called Finance. In here, you can do anything such as create a new file or folder. You can also upload your files and folders directly from your machine. You can also export to Excel. And what this means is, is anything in that document library, it will export it to an Excel spreadsheet. And this is mainly used for reporting purposes. Please note, no one will be able to rename or change any settings for the document libraries. As I mentioned earlier about permissions, any change onto the document libraries needs to be requested to support and by an authorized contact. As you can see up here, we also have a sync button and this brings me onto the second method of SharePoint and that is files on demand. Let's start by letting you know that you would really have to click on this sync button because here at Premier Choice, we would have your machines syncing down all available document libraries ready for you. So let's move over to File Explorer where the document libraries sync to. And as you can see on the left hand side, it says Premier Choice Internet Limited. This is where your company name will be showing and underneath that, all the document libraries currently synced. In this case, you will see some of my project document libraries, but just above that, you can see the PCI Demo Finance document library. This is the one that we've been demonstrating with. Let's jump into this document library. And as you can see, we already have one file in there. We can do anything we like with this file, but before we do, please notice the cloud icon down in the bottom right hand corner. This is known as the OneDrive sync agent. This agent is what syncs your changes up to the Office 365 portal within SharePoint. So what we're gonna do now, is we're going to rename this file to test and what then the sync agent does is it will constantly look for changes on your machine within the document libraries that you've been working from so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you back to the office 365 portal in the pci demo finance document library and as you can see it's already renamed our document so now you're probably thinking, well, if we can do that from there, can we do that within the Office 365 portal? And yes, you can. You can make any changes to any files or folders within the document libraries. And then what the OneDrive sync agent does is look for those changes and then syncs them back down to the machine or back up to the Office 365 portal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to talk to you about the next part of where Files on Demand gets its name from and that is the OneDrive sync agent icons. Throughout this demo, you would have noticed some of these icons being shown under a status column in File Explorer. Let's start by letting you know you will only see these icons when you have synced the document libraries down to your machine. You will never see these within the Office 365 portal. 
Each icon has its own meaning. Let's start with the blue cloud icon. When you see the blue cloud icon, it means that the file or folder is online only. This means you will not be able to open the folder or file if you do not have any internet. The beauty of this feature allows you to see everything within all the document libraries without taking unnecessary space on your hard drive. When you do have internet connection and want to make changes to a folder or file, this is when you'll see this icon change from the blue cloud to the green tick icon. What this means is that you have downloaded the file and it becomes locally available. So let's see this in action. As you can see, I'm currently in the finance document library and I want to open up this finance test Excel spreadsheet. As you can see, it has the blue cloud icon next to it. So what this means for me to open it, I need an internet connection, which I do. So let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, it's automatically changed now to a green tick. So this means that the file is now locally available. You can open up a locally available file even without internet access. Please note though, if you are making changes to a file while you don't have an internet connection, then your changes will not sync up to SharePoint until your connection has restored. Now we have that out of the way, this now leads me onto the final icon, the solid green tick icon. You get this status when you right click the folder or file and choose always keep on this device. The difference between this icon and the previously mentioned green tick icon is that after a file hasn't been accessed for some time, the green tick icon file or folder, OneDrive will automatically change this back to online only. Whereas selecting always keep on my device prevents that from happening and also allows the user to work while offline. Please note when selecting this option, this takes up space on your machine. If you do not require this anymore, you can simply right click the file or folder and choose free up space. And that is the end of our demo today. If you have any issues or have any questions, you can easily just give us a call on 0208 269 6878 or you can also email the help desk and raise a ticket via that way. Once again, my name's Ollie and I was your host for today. And once again, Thank you for choosing Premier Choice Internet.